Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Dark Cloud. Oh, well, Adventure Day 1. Dusk. Wasn't intentional, but it was a good intro part. Welcome back to more Dark Cloud. So, uh, compared to other series on this channel... Wait, is there anything over here? No, okay. Uh, compared to other things on this channel, um, which are morally comedy based, I am going to be very informative about this game and some things about it. Ah, Dunkle, you're alive! <laughs> ah, brother! It seems like we're uh, the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this would happen. One night, and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Dunkle? I feel so helpless. Aye, the mayor of the village can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? And he said, Do you like my hair? I'm mean, trying to be hip and cool with the young ones these days. Ugh. I guess the only thing we can do is get help from the guardian of Nore Nerune village, Drawn. Drawn will not abandon us. He'll help us, for sure. I have a favor to ask, Dunkle. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Drawn what happened. I said go to the Divine Beast Cave so fast. Divine Beast Cave is the cave outside, to outside towards your right hand side. Yeah. I'm using my left hand right now, and it's going slightly into my stomach. But I, oh god, I have an itch. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, oh no, it's itching again. Oh, okay. His toes are really gross. I may be ima- His toenails are like way far back too. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. Alright, so he gives us the cave key, and he's also, until we can, uh, basically what we're supposed to do is rebuild the whole village. Uh, so he's basically how we get, uh, inventory items and everything beforehand. We get a prickly from doing this. Uh, prickly is fishing bait, which we can use later, but fishing is, eh, I don't, I don't fish. I don't fish in this game at all. Um... When I know it might be an alright thing about the game, I don't do it because you can easily just sell pricklies and then get better items and stuff because they sell for so much when you open up the shop. Uh, a good fast travel thing is to hit select and then do like that. Alright, and use the cave key. So he gives us items and there's something I do do. I said do do. I do a lot that... Uh, kind of bothers me it so well we'll get into that later we'll get into that later we're gonna go ahead and skip this uh intro tutorial thing again because i have been playing the game recently so i do know how to play it so i can't skip this so what he's saying is we need to get the gate key which is from any enemy in the dungeon uh gate keys are how you get to the next floor of the dungeon, so you need to at least collect one before you're able to go to the next floor. If you de destroy, defeat all enemies on the dungeon floor, you can exit out immediately without having to use an item. Uh, Atlamilia, which are those little round spheres there, uh, are basically used to get uh, pieces of your village back. Um, another thing is weapons can break in this game. Uh, instead of having a, like a level up system with your character, you actually just have a level up system with your items which is a lot different from the general RPG standard, which is really nice, and I do like that, because you don't have to worry about other things. There's items to actually increase your health and your thirst gauge. Thirst gauge is another thing. Um, if your character becomes thirsty, then... Uh, if your character becomes thirsty, then your health will gradually drop. Uh, so using uh, water and finding fount like uh, waterfalls inside dungeons and stuff like that are a good way to acquire I get river um, a good way to acquire things. Uh, this right here is a mine cart. If you get uh, oil, uh, you can like basically oil up the wheels and dr and ride through. You get you go to a different area with great items, but the enemies are stronger. Like they're twice as strong as they are normally but you have the potential of getting rare items and uh, weapons and stuff. Right here is the uh, thing the gate key goes in. So I think that's everything so far. Uh, 
the combat's very simple. Oh, there we go. We just got the gate key. We could leave, but I wouldn't recommend it because uh, you could literally go without rebuilding anything, honestly. Except for like one or two things, which is probably using an 80% speedrun uh, for this game. I've actually never seen a speedrun of this. I probably need to watch one. Macho. So that's a character. You uh, People are in these things. Uh, buildings, like scenery, stuff like that. Like Everything are put in these Atlamilia, which the Fairy King uh, saved everybody from that. Now, what I want to say is when you rebuild everything, there's a lot of people... Uh, missing <laughs> if you remember that opening cutscene there's like a lot of people who were just not there before uh, also kill cave bats as fast as you can because they have the chance to poison you and who poison is not fun especially early on later on sure but until you get uh, the shop reopened when to, when, until you rebuild the shop um, you are stuck with one potion or one antidote um, so yeah. And... I should have blocked there. There we go. God damn it. Holy shit. I've never had... Ugh. I have bad luck at this game. At least when I first start off. Uh, I don't need to worry about health, because these things recover health as well. But they do not cure poison or anything like that. They do not re uh, cure status ailments. Wow, the fucking luck with that right there. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, all chests are basically RNG. This entire game is actually RNG. Random, The dungeons are always randomly generated, and uh, it's pretty cool. So, while this first episode is going to be very informative... Um, wow, fucking two fountains or waterfalls in this. That's fucking dope, actually. Uh... I, I'm going to be very informative, so this is more likely going to be a walkthrough than anything else. I, I actually just um, I ordered a guide uh, for this game because I lost mine. I had a guide for this, uh, but I lost it a while back, and I ordered one. It just came in today, and I was like, all right, I'll record this. There's a couple people who actually want me to upload and record this game, so I thought I would. Um, single player is really just mostly going to be a walkthrough if I know the game enough. Um... But anything else is really just going to be goofing off. I'm actually going to do an episode here, uh, or a, a small three-part series here soon, where I just go over Smash Bros. clips that I have <laughs> saved on my uh, Wii. Because I have a lot. Oh my god. Well, at least we got that second uh, antidote. No, honestly, I feel like I'm actually wasting uh, antidotes, but it really doesn't matter because we get them back whenever. Like, if anything we're low on, he gives it back to us. So we really don't need to worry. Okay, uh, weapon health. So that little thing right here, or down there, little red bar, uh, that's weapon health. So you need to take a, we uh, a, po a weapon potion thing, basically, and rebuild it. This is the only weapon that can't break in the game. So, yeah. Um, you're fine, but it just does l a lot less damage. Now, Dagger's abs is full. Um, doesn't mean it ate a lot. Oh, fuck, I got a prickly, that's great. Um, so, earlier we got this, which is a stone breaker. So, uh, rock type monsters, basically. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, rock type monsters, or like statue, stone monsters, whatever. They, uh, they will take more damage if this is a, uh, equipped to your weapon. And now, as you see, I'm putting something here. You can This is where you equip uh, items and like equipable shit to your weapons. Uh, so whenever you do equip it, you have down there it says 3. If I take it off, it has 0. It's always the same. Uh, I If you, the best item you have, put it in the blue. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to do normal attachment. This is for synth spheres. Never mind. No, I don't put it in the blue. Put it in the white if you can. Um, but once you upgrade, so I'm going to upgrade it real quick, which increases the attack power and everything. Uh, so up by one, blah, blah, blah. Now you see that's not there anymore because that is permanently on our weapon. Um, another thing you can do is you can change the attribute. Um, so if you have any of the attribute on here, you can actually change the attribute of your weapon. 
and it's uh, kind of nice actually. So if uh, any enemies are weak to wind, um, then you can do that. And I have the guide here, so I will be. Uh, I have the guide next to me, so I'll, I'll always have it next to me, and I will definitely be uh, being informative about the series. So this definitely will. Is that what I think it is? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, so this, I'm not going to use it now. I'll use it a little later. Um, basically though, because we're almost done with this area and everything, so you really don't need to worry about being poisoned, because once you leave the dungeon, the poison goes away. I can get poisoned from blocking? I have never had that happen. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, oh fuck. Okay. Uh... We really don't need to worry about it. It takes like two health away every time. Like you take a few steps for every few seconds or something like that. I'm not sure how poison actually works in this game. Um, but it doesn't matter all that much because, uh, wow. Uh, I'm gonna use it actually because I mean I don't see a point in not using it because we won't if if we go back to the guy, then we won't get another one. So I mean, there's really no point. We get another. Or, I mean, if we if we have it on us, we won't get another one. So I mean, if we use it now, then we'll just get another one later. Um, Macho's house. Okay, so that's gonna be the first house uh, that we rebuild. I think. Oh, we got the cave map. I've already been through the entire cave. Uh, so yeah, there's um there's the magical crystal which shows you every item or it reveals all items and stuff on the map. And then there's the map, which reveals the entire map. As I was saying, these uh, every floor of the dungeon is always randomly generated. So if I were to exit this floor right now and come back, it would not be the same. And I'd have to do everything again. Um, except for the Atlamilia, those are always on you. It's a good way to kind of grind since this first area is very easy. But, um, yeah. Uh, but from every time you go to a new floor, you can always leave the dungeon temporarily um so that is always a good thing to be able to leave the dungeon whenever you feel like it because who i can tell you times uh especially in the persona uh three uh leaving the dungeon you have to find a certain point in the thing which aren't they don't come around for some time uh it takes a while and it was annoying uh, so basically, he's saying that I have the power to recreate the village. So. Yep. Uh-huh. Alright. And that is the manual <laughs> for the game. Even though I do have the actual manual. Um, so now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and get the items off screen and then come back and uh, rebuild some shit. See you guys next time. Man, this is a fucking walkthrough. God damn it.